hi guys welcome to yet another video so today we are going shopping i personally prefer shopping at night because the supermarkets are less crowded the queues are less shorter and i get to enjoy my shopping because i love it slowly i like picking up stuff slowly and just i don't know i i don't know if you get me or feel me but i do not like rushing my shopping experience if you understand me i am home now and what i want to do is unpack everything mark you it's already 9 pm so i want to cook supper real quick make my family eat and then unbox everything so once that's done i can get to doing this video finally and look at the receipt and things are expensive Expensive. so some of the things i got were a couple of monster some energy drink we do not drink alcohol that much in this house so you'll find us taking some energy drinks i got some ugali flour so for ugali flour i got the amaze i got spaghetti the butterfly one it tastes quite good santa maria and santa lucia have decided <laughs> that only rich people can eat santa maria so if you're eating santa maria or santa lucia especially santa maria you are rich so for the amaze they got 10 kgs the, each of them are two kgs this unga is pretty costly but hear me out it is really good quality compared to the other ones so this spaghetti is one and a half kgs i also got some onions so people are gonna come at me like why don't you go to the market and all that i won't go i got some sugar this is uh, two kgs of sugar the cabras sugar i also got some peptang tomato ketchup because i love it i would love to buy hens or hens <laughs> I don't know however it is you want to pronounce it but the price so i'm gonna fold this shopping bag up because i am not buying another one at 50 shillings i will reuse this one till god says it is enough so i also bought some popcorn for my son yes you're going to ask why i can't just cook popcorn i am going to buy popcorn why are they selling popcorn i also got some hot dogs i always hear people say hot dogs are quick mat hot dogs are quick mat are really delicious so I decided to try them out man man the hype is a no okay you guys just hype things way too much these hot dogs ain't fire like y'all keep saying they are oh, i also got some famila uji flour because i love uji in the evenings considering that now i work from home I get hungry in between like the meal so in the evening this is what we like to take for a snack really good thick porridge to remind me of home and my mother's cooking i miss my mom so much shout out to you because i know you're watching this video and i also got some wow wows for my son they were already opened because he could not wait to get home good old royco powder so i don't use it as much so i just got the sachet one i also got some drinking chocolate the raha one it was like literally the only one available i got some maggi beef cubes to go along with the royco cube the royco powder i mean and then i also got tomatoes so this is like one and a half kgs of tomatoes still if you go to the market tomatoes and groceries can still be weighed in kgs i also got the family pack with Abix for my three-year-old his son who enjoys with Abix in the morning i do too my hubby isn't like a huge fan of Weetabix but my son and I are so we're the ones who take Weetabix I was running out of soy sauce so I got another bottle actually I was completely out of soy sauce and I prefer this soy dark the dark soy sauce compared to the other one there's the other one that has a purple label I actually do prefer this one so i'm usually a huge fan of sunrise but this time i went with the rani so this rice just comes out perfect this rice is perfect so the price range for each of them is 
almost the same this is just a bit pricier by a hundred shillings the sunrise is 1800 and the rani is 1900 kenyan shillings so but both are nice but to be honest i'm going to go back to sunrise yeah so like i said we are folding these bags because i am not spending 50 shillings on a bag that can be reused in fact i think i'm saving the environment by reusing this bag yeah we will fly above the sky next on my list is uh, a box of milk so this box contains 12 packets of milk i use one each day so a box takes me for about 12 days so i have to buy in a month we use around two and a half boxes of milk because i use one each and every day so some of the things are only going to last a week some are gonna go months so i also got some smokies i personally prefer smokies to sausages my hubby loves sausages so whenever i'm buying we have to get both but mostly we do sausages i also got some maini slash liver and i got some beef so the meat are each in two kgs two kgs those are enough to last us a week and then also got some minced meat yeah, i've been flying from town to town from london to taiwan i've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul I have some yogurt here i got strawberry and vanilla flavor i have not always been a fan of strawberry but i tried the fresher strawberry yogurt and i personally really loved it because it doesn't taste like all the other strawberry yogurts so i love this for breakfast also got some mala for i love mala and ugali for lunches because it just makes everything easier and yeah so i'll always buy them so since growing up i've never been a huge fan of tea that's why i take yogurt because now i actually do get to have a choice growing in an african home you have to eat whatever is cooked but now i do get to like i do get to choose whatever it is i want to eat because that is growing up being an adult you get to choose so i also got some sodas I do admit I uh, we have been taking a lot of soda which is unhealthy. PS my son does not take soda because he is already suffering from tonsil so I do not give him that much sugar. I also got some ice cream. So much as you see us adults taking soda, trust me he doesn't because I know it's not good for his health. Neither, neither is it for ours. So we are going to take a detox from sodas for a while so you won't see me buying them and i promise on to the toiletries we start with the tissue paper so this is a 10 pack roll yeah and then i also got some serviettes this time i didn't get the value pack the one that usually has like two of this size so i only took the small pack i got some pads i usually have a lot in supply so you won't see me buying them each time i go shopping i also got the blue bubble toilet cleaner this toilet cleaner is bomb if you follow me you know you have to use this i also got the star soft five liter fabric softener because this is just going to save me a lot of money this will probably last as uh, two months yeah i think two or three months depends so i usually buy this size but now when i went shopping this time because uh, this will save me when i'm shopping next so there's stuff i won't have to buy like the fabric softener and you know this particular size this two liter size usually goes for around 750 shillings and yeah so i think i made a good decision buying the big one because it will last us longer p.s i only do laundry once a week so i decided to try the gamma washing machine liquid 
detergent and it's been recommended and you can wash white you can also do colored or dark clothes without it staining it and whatever so i'm going to give it a chance and then i will give you guys a review on how well or how bad the soap is so it is very machine friendly and i have seen a few people use it so i am going to try it and then i will get back to you another personal favorite of mine is the blue king body wash specifically the aqua flavor this soap lathers perfectly when you're showering and it just leaves your skin hydrated for my dishes i prefer the sunlight dishwashing soap liquid soap and this is uh, the lemon flavor it smells amazing does not leave any smell on your dishes and it also lathers perfectly so you don't have to use like a lot of the soap to like get the grease off your dishes so my hubby loves the vaseline men's body lotion so this is what i got him this time it came with the petroleum jelly to the side oh i also got some hanan wet wipes i love to use the wipes to wipe surfaces around the house and my baby's bum and yeah other uses too i love the nivea soft moisturizer this moisturizer does the job for my skin it hydrates and it leaves your skin feeling soft so i would swear by this it is budget friendly so i do not use this only i also substitute to the CeraVe moisturizer on other news i also bought these toilet bowls i use them on my bathroom drains they are also good for urinals and uh, all that but i use them specifically for my drains it disinfects and just leaves the bathroom smelling nice so this is everything i got some of these things will last a month some will only last a week no point in blaming you you did not know What I'm going to do now is just put everything in their respective containers, clean up this under the sink cabinet and make sure everything goes to the tin. So starting with the old flour, this is the flour I had originally. So I'm just going to change it into another sufuria and then put the new flour in, then put the old flour the one that i have i have already at the top so that i get to use it first before i start using the new flour i don't know if that makes sense to you but i love to use up everything that i had in store first before i start getting into my new stock yeah do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to like and share this video to a friend and another friend tell your sister tell your brother tell each and every one of your family members to subscribe to my channel so if you're already a part of my family i appreciate you and thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed this video and expect even more from me I'm way too good at keeping you from getting in. I've seen it. This is what this bottom drawer looks like at the moment. So I have my detergents on one side because I don't, yeah, they'll just have to stay that one corner because I do not have space for them at the moment. And the foodstuffs are on the other side. This way they do not mix. The containers are airtight, so there is no way the detergent is going to get onto the other side of the food so this particular drawer broke and i'm going to have to call a fundi during the week to come and fix it so everything else my extra shopping just goes to this middle drawer this is where i store everything that is still in stock and everything that i will use within the week or within the month everything that does not fit into containers or 
for those that are still full in their containers they go up in this drawer This particular cabinet is a hot mess but I am glad to report that I am almost done with getting rid of all the plastics in my house. I am almost there so I only have a few left and this drawer needs is in dire need of organization but I will not do that. It is already 12 in the middle of the night and i am exhausted so i am just going to go rest the much that i have done now is enough for a human being so everything else i will pick up in the morning so as you all know this bottom cabinet is where i store like all the non foodstuffs all the toiletries like the tissue and all that i also have a bathroom cabinet for my tissue paper but it is too small it already has all my cleaning detergent so now everything else has to just stay in this bottom drawer the top one has all my sufurias my cooking pots and yeah cleanup time and this is all i have time for today thank you so much for watching and subscribing see you on the next video I love you all and thank you for watching. Waiting for a sense of closure, trying to cover up these scars, won't fix another broken heart.